so this is totally random <laughs> hey y'all so i'm gonna try this um new setup so um if it's moving it's because i have a canopy bed and i have now jimmy rigged this here um <laughs> uh, mount to the top part of my bed and I'm going to sit here and do this really quick Goodwill haul um so let me let me explain okay y'all know I have a love hate relationship with Goodwill okay why do I have a love hate relationship with Goodwill because I feel like the prices are too high because like I'm an avid thrifter and I just kind of feel like you know I'm just a frugal a frugal finder a frugalista fashionista so everywhere i go i like to find things that are on sale so there are some places where i can go retail and get a top for six dollars or less so i just feel like that's a little expensive so i'm not going to be long talking on this because i don't want this to be a long video but um i'm excited so i went to goodwill today because hi my name is Ayana Piranha and I'm an emotional shopper. So, um, yeah, so. <sighs> okay, let me explain. So I hope this lighting is decent. I'm sure it could be a lot better, but this is what we're working with. So, here is this bag. And I spent $30.99 and I got some really good stuff for me and I picked up something for my brother. So I'll start with what I got for him first um and of course all of this is going to be laundered so here is this plaid shirt with like red black and green and it's black history month and it still has this plastic part on the collar and it is what polo so the color of the day it has these patches and it looks like it might have like a little bit of a stain but i know how to fix that um yeah so the patches are on the elbow and there is okay so the color of the day was yellow and so my mission because i didn't need to be in there at all i'm supposed to be saving money but i was feeling some type of way because work has been really rough and i wanted to buy something so i was like okay i'm gonna go in a thrift store and if you get anything it has to be on sale so um shirts are normally 5.99 so 5.99 with half off let's round it up to six cut it in half and say it was three bucks 2.99 or something so okay here we go we all know i'm obsessed with denim tops and this is no different this is like a really lightweight type of it's lightweight but it's dense at the same time okay so it's kind of like a thinner denim but it's very sturdy feeling and it has like this split at the bottom um it says it's t and w designs and yes it had a little yellow tag so that was also on sale um yeah so that part um and then there is this my hair looks a mess but whatever this was not on sale honey but this is a max studio dress let me see what the type of material is on this this is a navy blue dress with like a secretary bow okay and we all know that I love a dress with a secretary bow. I'm sure this might have to be dry clean only. I'm looking for laundry details. I see none. I'm not sure if somebody took this tag out. But here's the thing. This is brand new. And it says the retail price on this says $138. So apparently this is a $138 dress that I got for a slick $6.99 because it was not on sale. And that will be seeing my office very soon. I also picked up myself um, another button up whenever, okay, there were mad polo button ups today, Ralph Lauren button ups, but I didn't get them all because I was like, let me just get what's on sale. So this actually had 
the little ticket so it was like 2.99 you see the little polo situation um this is just a structured button up so even if it wasn't polo if it was like gap or j crew or something like that i would still get it because i love it but i do love ralph lauren's shirts i feel like um they're slim fit which is this is a slim fit shirt fits me very well for work because i'm only 5'2 and sometimes like button ups fit me weird so anyway so there it's like um pink yellow green and blue very cute so that was on sale too that was half off a scarf not that i need another one but this was like 292 or something like that but i really like this pattern and i know me and i was like this is gonna be a head wrap so I needed to get this so there's that and then um, these pants in this really weird like chartreuse looking color um, they are from the loft and I actually used to work for the loft and yellow ticket so they were half off they are in a size 2 but for me, I feel like loft pants run a little big so I can get like a two. Sometimes I'm really like a four, a four, somewhere in between a four and a six, depending on what I have for lunch. <laughs> so there's this and I actually have a scarf that has this chartreuse color in it from the loft. I'm not sure if it's from that same season. Um, if they do like um, Gap, I would be able to tell from tag someone cut it out I don't know but um, I have a scarf that I purchased when I worked there that matches this exactly so I will be pairing the two but um, I also bought it because it complements this so well this um, well I bought this because it complements the pants so well um, and then lastly I found these suede boots um, with a little drawstring thingy in the bag i guess they can be folded down they're all black and these were 6.99 so the only thing that i paid full price for full price thrift for were these boots and um the dress so i think i'm gonna wash this stuff out because i think i want to wear that denim top with this scarf and these pants so that's what I'm going to do. So, um, really quick to answer some questions. I had one of my subbies ask me and a friend, um, Hey Sarah, um, ask me, um, things about thrifting. Like how do I care for the clothes? Do I leave them outside? Um, you know, like overnight before I bring them in, you know, because of like maybe bugs or anything like that. So, um, you see they're like kind of thrown on my bed like typically I don't do that but for the sake of this video because I wanted to hurry up um, I did it on my bed and I just washed all of these blankets but here's what I typically do I don't leave them in the car overnight I don't leave them outside because um, when I go to the thrift store I don't buy anything to me that looks that shoddy that I have to worry about like it has bugs in it or anything like that and because Goodwill is a chain store they're typically a lot cleaner and they have a process because I used to be a manager of a thrift store they have a process to how they process their items like people go through with the the gloves they pick them up they shake them out they you know turn them inside out make sure that they're right put them on hangers so they've had to go through a process before putting them on the floor before I put them on my body though as far as the clothes most of them I put in the washer um and all fabric bleach my regular detergent um anything like that i just regularly wash them as if i would anything else um for the shoes i take disinfectant spray and disinfectant wipes the disinfectant wipes i go inside the shoe with two or three times the disinfectant spray i spray in the inside and i spray it all around the outside i actually take the wipe inside the shoe and outside the shoe and um spray it as well so yeah there's no like um oh she also asked me if i try on the clothes in the store sometimes i do because um i don't want to buy a bunch of stuff that i'm gonna have to like alter so sometimes i just want to buy something that i can just like throw in the washer and then like go so um 
sometimes I try them on in the store, but the trick to that is it's like I wear leggings or something that's like tight fitted or like a just like a tight shirt, leggings or something where I can put stuff on over my clothes while I'm in the thrift store so I don't have to. Um, there's no skin to skin contact between my body or I'm sorry, like, you know, clothing to skin contact with the thrifty items in my body before they're washed like everything gets washed and sometimes even before I throw the thrifty items in the washer I will spray the clothes with a disinfectant spray and then throw them into the washer and why I do that I do that as an extra precaution is because um, everybody's housekeeping is different and even if a person was clean you don't know what the process like of how long they had them in their car if they got thrown around or if it if the items were inside one of those clothing drop boxes before it got to the part where they processed it so i always um like spray them down then throw them in the washer and then depending on what it is if it's even the stuff that says dry clean honestly like I throw it in a washer on a delicate cycle um you can't do that with everything I throw it in a washer on a delicate cycle and then I like hang it to dry um because before when I first started thrifting all of these blazers that I would get and everything like I would take all of this stuff to the dry cleaners and then it just kind of defeats the purpose of like thrifting because now you have like this huge dry cleaning bill so also, while I'm in the store, I keep my own hand sanitizer in my purse. So I like sanitize before I go in. I sanitize after I get done touching all the things. So like I'm probably, I'm going to go wash my hands with soap and water now after I've touched these because I haven't washed these yet. But that's typically what I do. So even when you see me like doing a video or something like this, when I get off of um, camera, I go wash my hands um, and I try not to touch my face. Because, again, you just don't know where it's been at. Like, I'm not freaked out enough by them that I like leaving them in the car overnight. But, like, you just don't know where they've been. So, the best thing to do is to just kind of take that extra precaution. Especially in cold and flu season. So, I hope that you all are staying protected out there. So, anywho, this has been your girl, Ayana Piranha. And I hope you're not weirded out by the angle of this uh, video. Um, but there was my Goodwill haul. Goodwill came through, y'all came through. So stay tuned for more of these. I am toying with the idea of, um, possibly putting up two videos a week. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go over to Facebook and like my like page, which is Ayana Piranha. Follow me on IG and Twitter where I am Ayana Piranha 1. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to thumbs this up.